Good day everyone! For this video, we will talk about the methods of counting or the counting techniques. We have three ways in counting manually. These are listing method, tabular method, and the tree diagram. Example, if you throw a die and a coin, how many outcomes are there? We can use any of the three methods. By using tree diagram, the faces of a coin are paired to faces of a die. You can get head paired to 1, paired to 2, paired to 3, paired to 4, paired to 5, or paired to 6. And you can also get tail paired to 1, paired to 2, paired to 3, paired to 4, paired to 5, and paired to 6. You can also use an array way that is listing or tabular. You can get 1 and head or 1 and tail, 2 and head, or 2 and tail, 3 and head, or 3 and tail, 4 and head, or 4 and tail, 5 and head, or 5 and tail, 6 and head, or 6 and tail. If you will count the possibilities, we will get 12 outcomes. Let me ask you this. How to count without counting manually? We can even count without counting manually by using fundamental counting principle. The easiest way or process of getting the possible outcome by multiplying choices in an event. Example number one. If you throw a die and a coin, how many outcomes are there? First, Identify the number of choices. For a die, we have 6 choices. And for a coin, we have 2 choices. Using fundamental counting principle, we will multiply the choices. 6 times 2 is equal to 12 outcomes. How about example number 2? If you have 12 pairs of t-shirts, 6 pairs of pants, and two pairs of shoes, how many possibilities can you dress yourself up for the day? First, identify the number of choices. For t-shirts, you have 12 choices. For pants, you have 6 choices. And for shoes, you have 2 choices. Using fundamental counting principle, we multiply the choices. 12 times 6 times 2 there are 144 outcomes. And how about this one? In how many ways can a president, vice president, secretary, and a treasurer be selected from 12 elected members of the PTA? For the number of choices for president, all 12 members are included. For vice president, we subtract 1 from the members once the president is chosen. So there are 11 choices remaining. The same for secretary. We subtract 1 again once the vice president is chosen. So there are 10 members remaining. And for treasurer, deduct once again so there are 9 choices remaining. We multiply the choices so there are 11,880 possible outcomes. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.